good morning. 300 kilometers down the road. Uh, please, please, please be sure to always remember that if someone parks not inside their spot, it might actually be because the car before them did not park inside their spot, thereby forcing them to like not park in the spot themselves. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can find some food now and then I think I might need a fuel refill. After that, it's only 500 to go. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I'll survive. I'm sure I'll survive. It'll be fine, all of it. I'm gonna buy chicken wings because chicken wings are like the most complicated and, and, and clever food to eat really when you're driving because they're small and finicky and stuff. But they taste great and that's pretty much all I care about right now. So I'm, I'm gonna stop somewhere and eat. I'm not gonna actually eat while I'm driving. I'm a very responsible person. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. Great. So I've arrived in Yellivore and I've slept and uh, I'm not even going to show my face because I haven't showered yet. It was a fucking nightmare driving, though. I mean, it was... I hated it. Uh, for once. I mean, there was so much traffic and everyone was doing their own little thing. And it wasn't until I get, got to the slightly smaller road that it was like I could... I just, oh, relaxed and just drove and had fun and enjoyed it. But that only lasted for like an hour or an hour and a half. The big, big part of the drive was along the annoying, horrible road with fences all over the place so you get all dizzy. Anyways, I thought we'd take a small tour because all my boxes arrived and I haven't emptied any of them. So, <clears throat> um, first off, there is my bed with an emptying box in it. Um, in my bed, there's the bag and the MacBook and Newt. <laughs> I got from my brother. He's a runaway from a Chinese work camp. Um, <laughs> then in the window, there is my straw goat from Alex. And the horse painting my brother made for me. He was actually an adult when he made that. And there's its Pepe, which is very nice. Uh, and then there's boxes, 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 boxes. I have my towels and my painting with sheep. And there was some arguing over where to actually put this guy, but he fits fine in the window. It's a bit too big to... We initially wanted to put him on the speaker, you can see there, but it's too small and it wouldn't be sturdy enough or steady. So we put him here. Um, what you can see next to it is a box of 25 perfume samples that I have yet to smell because I'm going to do one of them per day now or two or something and write down what I think and what's wrong and what needs changing. Then, <laughs> oh yeah, and my violin, which actually made the trip just fine. Um, then, this cupboard, very dark, but this is turning into a perfume shelf. This, it's gonna fill. I'm gonna have to find a second perfume shelf, but whatever. This is the hair dye shelf. And this is my perfume working shelf, since that's all I really have so far. And then I'll hang clothes in there on the hangers, and that's fantastic. Um, and then I have my Christmas present from a former co-worker who is also a Norwegian <laughs> and really nice if you're watching this hi child um, which is a signed Sabaton flag I missed the concert but fantastic stuff and then <laughs> this is turning into one of my favorite rooms even though I'm never going to use it check this yay so there's a disco ball in the ceiling and this is my former workplace memorabilia room and there's my sword still haven't unpacked it because I have nowhere to put it and then there's the um, the, the everything the wolf box there um, some collector's editions most of them used sadly I'm not that smart so that at present oh yeah Aside from that, I've also started trying to bring some structure into the books. So right now they're going on the floor in little piles. This is the contents of one box. This is going to be a nightmare. Also, this is the thingy from my mother, because I'm going to use that for perfume encouragement and writing encouragement. I'm, 
And after all this is done, I'm going to have to sweep the floor. <laughs> this is terrible. So in any case, when you come up the stairs to my room, this is what you see. And then it says, welcome, only in Swedish, and it's a moose. And then you open the door, you go inside to the Sabaton flag, in the disco ballroom, and the wolf statue, and the pepe in the window, and the painting, and the bed, and I have to admit, I feel very happy. It's 12 o'clock in the morning, I was going to say, but, you know, lunchtime. And the land that has midnight sun now has complete and utter darkness and hail. And if it wasn't for all the noise the hail is making, you'd also be able to hear the thunder. I actually thought something fell over in the house when the first one went, because it was like, kadung thunder, not those long rumbly ones, it was... <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, I have to go drive to the city now, so I hope... I really hope there was a light. Oh yeah, that one was very silent. There was a lightning and a very small thunder. Um, <laughs> I hope it stays... Sticks with hail, because I don't like driving in rain. I think it's scary. Um, I don't like hail either, to be honest, but... Did you hear that? I hope you heard that. This is amazing. <laughs> it's actually almost scary. I, I remember now why people, people in Sweden tend to be scared of thunder, because it's amazing. And it seems to be getting much, much closer, which... You know, fantastic stuff. Because that one was the lightning and then the thunder came like two seconds after. So it's not far away now. Amazing. I was about to leave, but the hail has increased. And can you see those? Where they land and bounce? They're big. They're really big. <laughs> oh my god. melted but this is the size of the hails. It's fucking dangerous to go out in this. The thunder is still going on but the hail has swapped over to rain it seems. And since I have to be at the doctor to do allergy tests in like an hour, I should get going now or I'm gonna have to drive fast and then I'll probably end up in a ditch somewhere. This is... <laughs> I mean you can see. It looks like it's been snowing. It's amazing! So, it's been four hours. I've been to the city. This car is amazing. I don't think I would have survived without this car. Uh, because it was so rainy and it was horrible and it was terrible. And then I made the mistake of taking the, uh, the old road. So, they're fixing it right now. 
and uh, it basically consists of about 90% gravel and 10% rocks. And between those, of course, I mean, but that's holes, so they don't count. But there's lots of holes in that stupid road. Feel so bad for the car. Um, so I took my blood samples that the doctor wanted, and yeah, I went blonde. <laughs> um, and I bought a new toothbrush, and I did some food shopping, and then I came home and I saw a bunny. But something else that I also saw, this is, <laughs> I promise, we're above minus zero degrees, but, uh, that's from the hail. And they don't appear to be melting. Um, <laughs> the rest is gone, though. So it's not as bad as it could be. So, hmm, yeah. And I saw a reindeer. When I was driving on the horrible gravel road, I saw a reindeer. So I sort of slowed down and went like, yeah, you cross first, cute reindeer. I'm not going to hit you. And <laughs> when I stopped, the reindeer sort of looked at me like, mm, and then it turned around. And I don't know if it said anything. I had the windows closed, but um, sorry, I'm taking out the shopping at the same time. <laughs> when it turned around and then this little baby reindeer came walking. And then the big reindeer stood in the middle of the road and looked at me and it like glared at me until the little reindeer had walked across the road. Then the big reindeer followed and then I drove on. Um, I thought that was very cute. And <laughs> I think everything's absolutely beautiful here actually. It was, it was terrible. The weather was terrible. I was actually a little bit scared. I was, I was scared when I was driving because it was scary. I couldn't see anything. I couldn't even get the windshield wipers to wipe fast enough to see the road. That's why I took the gravel road because I figured I'd be alone on that. Oh boy, was I wrong. Traffic everywhere and road works. And wow, that was cool too. When I was there and there was this big truck with like two, oh dear, load thingies, two of them. And there was a tractor, and they were like, with the tractor shoveling the gravel from the bad road into the truck. And then when I came, they were covering both lanes, so I couldn't really pass them. And it took them a matter of seconds to just completely change around this whole setup they had, and reverse with double package <laughs> and the tractor and everything. It was, I was really impressed. I wish I could drive that well, but I really can't. At least I'm aware that I'm not a good driver. It's very sad, but I mean, I am aware of it, so I can adapt to it, hopefully. Um, yeah. Now I'm gonna go cook. Mm. I think they like each other. <laughs> <laughs>